So, you've seen me shave a bed. You know, I have the sheets up because I'm washing the, er, all the bedding, so I might as well take care of this right now. <laughs> now, we're making a bed. <laughs> what are you making a bed for, Caleb? Uh, for my car. My tiny little 1999 Toyota Corolla. Basically, these seats are going down and in, and then we're building out two panels to go right on top here to get, be flush with the mat. And then, and then I can later, I, I'm probably just gonna throw like a, a little camping pad in there for sleeping for now to test it out. And then long-term probably cut out like Tempur-Pedic to match uh, the panels we're cutting right now. So that'll be for travel and camping. Travel and camping. At least, at least you know, for the, the next few months. Cool. Uh, until I, it, I'll probably decide to get a van or something in the long term, but. But yeah. for now. For now. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Padre has helped me get a template going, made out of cardboard and blue tape, and so right now we're getting the outline going on the wood boards, and we're cutting out the uh, the panels. You can throw them in the back and. Um, seeing what kind of uh, like stand we'll have to make because mm. it'll have to be supported. Can't just sit on the back seat there. It's not level. Head is gonna go here. Feet in the trunk. That's the idea. So oh. the back of my seats, the back of my front seats are gonna be the the headboard basically. <laughs> Way too long. Yeah. Did I miss something? Did I not cut something yet? Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that helped. It's a lot better. Shaking from the camera. Maybe like that? Or do we just want to put it up like that? Yeah, I'm thinking we could have it just push back here, tape it down, tape this down, and then, yeah, have it cut around here and right here. It's kind of it's kind of ugly, but it'll work. So we'll pick up this edge. I'm, I'm going to tighten it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. This thing will whirl. Let's see. There it is. Heck yeah. Look at that. So close. So close, but that's going to... It's pretty gonna, impressive, huh? It is. Some big flat area. Caleb's brought his car to follow up with how his build is going. Yeah. And now you can actually see how it works. Yeah, this is how it works. So yeah, this is a few months later. Um, at this point, basically these boards go across. The seats, I have them in their just regular positions that I'm comfortable with, passengers are comfortable with. And so if I need more room, kind of what I've, I've found as this goes along, you end up massaging things into place and finding what's comfortable. Basically, I'll lean forward this seat, and then this will be my resting area, is this area. So I, this is more than enough room. I can tippy-toe touch the back of my trunk, but other than that, like that's, 
I have like full space here. Hello. <laughs> That's <was> great. <laughs> Basically these hinges, they're really just, uh, there's two things is like, if I'm on the freeway, I like to pull these back just so that there's not a board of wood pushing into my back in case there's an accident or something. And then also like, if I need to take these out, having, being able to kind of collapse it just a little bit helps to get it out of the door way. Everything, you know, it's a work in progress. I've camped with this setup. Basically, at this point, the most use this gets is if I feel like taking a nap during lunch in our company parking lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a nap. It's very easy. If it's hot, what I've done is I've got this clip on USB fan. It's clipped to the seatbelt so I can adjust it because of the weight of it. And I can twist this to the right position. And I just got this solar USB power brick. And so with that plugged in, and even through the tent, I get a charge. Up and through so, the tent. Right there. There we go. I've accidentally left my car electronics running for four hours at a time and not had any issues. So if I need climate control, I can do it that way too. I just need to set an alarm for like four hours so that I wake myself up, charge the battery, turn it off. You have a red light. Turn that on. What's that about? Oh, yeah. Why is the light red? I say because it's an LED, so it's a lot brighter than the stock light, but it's red, so visibility from the outside oh. is lower. Oh, if I, right, let me humans, see. Humans can sign. Oh, yeah, so it's, it doesn't really blare through your... Humans tint. Can, yeah, humans can decipher shades of green a lot better than they can shades of red. If it's just like a regular warm light, it's just going to be a lot clearer to see. Whereas when, it, when it's red, it just kind of obfuscates uh, detail. I try to keep this stealth. This is a little attention grabbing, but usually if I'm actually trying to be stealth somewhere, I've got the windows covered. And so, okay. you know, it's So and what light. are these things on the windows? Um, so those are rain visors. So you can have the window cracked and rain doesn't come into your car? Exactly. Yeah. I see. These frames, uh -huh. uh, they're metal and uh, they have some amount of iron in them because magnets attract to them. Yeah. So That's cool. I'll end up making kind of these frames that just pop into place to cover the windows from the inside and provide a bug screen. That's a, a new kind of discovery and development. I'm not, it's not there yet. Right now I just have these these window covers that go over the top. That looks like a woman's skirt. Um, I don't know. You tell me what kind of material that is. It's like buck screen material. Oh, really, really thin Stretchy, screen. thin. Really thin. Material. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is just so that I had, it's super cheap, something just so that, because yeah. I had different camping trips I was going on, and I just need something that All right. worked. Well, can you fold this up and show us how it folds back up? Yeah. That way we can see how it looks like without the gear on it. This is the side I usually come in at, and uh, I'm probably going to end up getting a like a bungee net here to keep oh. underwear oh, and yeah. socks. And yeah. so then this will end up You don't becoming, have to open the door to get those things out. Yeah, it will end up becoming my wardrobe. Yeah, I was worried about where you were going to store clothes, but I guess now that you don't have to put those seats back, you have a place to put things. Yep. Really, it's just this. So it's two different halves, um, and that just pops back like that, and boom. Now I've got space here, so it's a little less dangerous. Oh, in case so you don't fold action. it all the way up. No, yeah. I mean, this is all the way. This is yeah. as far as it goes. I can see that. <laughs> and this goes through, Let's see, just like this. And uh, I've been doing some research. It's pretty mint in the front. I mean, the front is, it's just my car. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. Yeah. See how this car is? Oh yeah, I keep it very clean. <laughs> what did Jessa J say when you pulled up and you were working on the build on this thing? Oh, it's so stealth. <laughs> stealth. <laughs> the stealthest build you've ever seen. So if you look down here, mm -hmm. you can see vertical space for the mouth of the trunk is yeah. super limited. Like this is my hand. Right, yeah, it is. So turning around is a pain in the neck. Oh, when you need to turn over at night? Yeah, and this pad, this is good for, you know, a Eight weekend night. camping trip. Yeah, if it's not. But that's about it. So for a longer trips, I started doing some research. Um, so like Asian floor style mattress 
is kind of what I'm looking for now. There's nothing else I can do. Oh, you can't have it thicker. You just have to have better foam. I can't have it foam. thicker. I just need better foam that's designed for longer term use. Uh, literally, this is this is what I've got to work with. Yeah. Is this level platform, and that's it. So a mattress that's meant to be placed directly on the floor, that's what I'm in the market for right now. They're about $100. So it's not, not, not super expensive. Well, how much have you spent on this build? I mean, I bought that fan. <laughs> it's like, what, 15 bucks? <laughs> I bought those I bought those covers. They're like ten bucks. <laughs> the trunk pops open now. You had that installed. Yeah, but that I cost that money. was before I even was gonna do that. And you tinted the windows. That was be way before I was ever gonna do this. <laughs> so the builds cost you about fifteen dollars plus lots of dad labor? Yeah, I'd say there's just odds and ends like that solar charger and stuff. Probably about fifty bucks. And then the next thing I am gonna buy is a hundred dollars. It's like wow, oof. I'm making sure to get one too that like uh, packs up easily, so then I can use it for other things. <laughs> this pillow doesn't have a case, and you have to look. Yeah, yeah, it. There's, yeah. There's, there's all that. sorts of things I'm looking you could, at. You need to glam it up. You need yeah. some uh, LED lights on the trunk. No. So, are you going to be doing more on this build? Or are you done? Do you think? I'm always going to be doing more on this build. Okay. At least for the next year. Good. Or at least until next summer. Check out more videos or check out this video that YouTube picked out just for you.